y'all it won't be so long before I come back and see y'all again man. I got a great show planned for you man it is uh we're out here touring off of this new record called Crown and uh it's, it's, it, it's it believe it or not it came out in February and it still has legs can you believe that yes. and, uh, it's almost the end of the year and uh man I'm just getting started and uh I got a whole lot to say and a whole lot to play, and uh, we're just gonna have a really good time. Y'all give it up for the opening band. Y'all give it up for the opening band. What can I say about the Coach House, man? I have a long history with this place, and uh, I played here quite a few times, man. You know, I, I came here on my own, and I came here as a guest appearance with my good friend Eric Johnson at one time and we had a lot of fun up here in this place and uh, I'm glad to be back. It's, it's really a, a good thing to be back here out of all of the turmoil that the world has seen in the past few years. And a lot of people had not made it so I'm glad I'm in the number to still be here alive and trying to make this world a better place. So for the people that have no fucking idea, there will be a couple of cuss words that say in here tonight. We all grown, so you can handle it. For the people that have no idea who the fuck I am, I just want you to understand that I, I stand in front of you as a flawed human being. I didn't say what color, I said a flawed human being. And what I mean by that is I need you to understand who I am before I start playing what I am. And who I am is a person that for 30 plus years, of my life, I lived it as a severe dope addict. I need everybody to hear that and know that's not worth clapping about. I almost killed myself five or six different times. That's the part about me that I need you to understand. Everything that I play and I say is about pure emotion and I play from a point of pain every night. It's painful for me. But if it's to bring somebody in this audience some sort of joy or inspiration, then damn it, I'm gonna do it every night because of the fact that there's somebody that need to hear the story of where I come from yes. and all that I took myself through yes. and all this bullshit and I covered up all the mirrors in my home. Yes. I'm starting to show this way because to me, this is the most important part. It's not about this thing right here. It's about what I'm telling you because right now, nobody cares about this guitar out there. Nobody cares. Nobody knows that. So I'm standing in front of you as what the world would see me as. An individual that has made mistakes that just so happened to somewhat know how to play the guitar. And I have an outlet to express myself to people that may not know what it is that I've been going through or what it is that I've been through. Now after all them 30 years, of covering up all the mirrors in my home and almost killing myself, I need to find out what type of energy that I'm dealing with here in San Juan Capistrano. I'm about to, I'm about to say something to y'all, and I need y'all to get even louder than that. When I tell you what I'm about to tell you, July 15th, y'all, was a significant day for me and some people here, my man Palmer, you know, he's been on the journey with me. This is something that was very significant for me, and after all that mess that I've been through, y'all, July 15th, I celebrated six years clean and sober!
Capistrano knows the blues.